Just walking up on this tall shelf of my property, I dropped my brother off and my buddy Tyler. Um, basically, what we, we, we had to come up here because, for one, the wind is blowing like straight down, like over the property. So if we would have hunted the bottom side, we would have been just blowing out bedding area. So we decided to come up top where you get up on this upper ridge and the wind blows down off the other side of the hill. And that's exactly what it did. Um, I dropped them off, walking in, uh, dropping Steve off first, um, dropped Tyler off second. Me and Tyler saw a pretty nice buck out in the middle of the power line feeding. Before we got to uh, crest the top of the ridge, the wind was still blowing, like pretty much right at him. He, he didn't see us, he sniffed us out and he just kind of trotted off. But when I dropped down his backside, the wind, it did just what we thought it was gonna do, which is, man, if I'm right one out of a hundred times, that's success. And when we were right today, I saw some does about, I don't know, 7,500 yards off and they were feeding along. And I just tucked in here. They walked right along this edge of this gas line to me and uh, I had a quarter two, which is a eh, kind of iffy shock, but I knew I could put it where I needed to. It was pretty close, so I did. And uh, Tyler's getting here now. We're gonna go look for it. You found it. That's what's up. That wasn't far at all, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for your help. When you take my bow, or actually, I'll just lay it here. Thanks. That's what's up. Yeah. All right, who's gonna gutter for me? Man, how the work begins. Tyler, you gutter, Steve, you drag her. So, I'll, I'll carry. Wait. I'll hold the camera. My, my hand hurts. I can't really do much right now. Still recovering from the walk up that mountain. Yeah. My heart's at like 620 beats a minute. <laughs> 233 Marlboros per minute. <laughs> That's right. Thanks for the help, dudes. Yeah, man. I'm just getting get soft as you get older. Yeah, but you know, it's uh when you have a situation like that, I mean that's an absolute perfect shot. It's tough to shoot them when they're facing you like quarter to you like that's Yeah, but she was gotta, I mean she's dead on her feet, you know. I mean I held that draw back for quite some time. You have to. Just watch your your broad end may still be in her because we never found your area. That's long. Look at that. There's your, it's kind of sticking out there. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> or is that just a little bit of gut? That's right. Yeah, we're almost down off the hill. We're beating brush getting this thing down. It's thick up here. Luckily, the drag is all down off this mountain, but oh, it gets thick, boy. That's the price you pay when you hunt a mile from the house here, but yeah, we're getting there, so get it down on the, by my field there, and then we're gonna go get the buggy, and we'll drive the rest of the way out. That's what happens when you get old, you gotta get the buggy.
That's right. We did it. Thank you. Appreciate it. Welcome for that, by the way. That was wonderful video. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a perfect ending to it. Now. Yeah, that's gonna do it for today for me. Uh, it's so early yet. Just got back to the barn. And coffee's still warm, so you gotta love that part of it. But uh, man, it's nice to have uh, a good friend and my brother up here with me, sharing this experience because. Without, without the friendship and the camaraderie, it's just not the same. And I think everybody who who hunts and, you know, whether you belong to a camp or whatever it may be, you, you know what I'm talking about, that just sharing these special moments, uh, it's, it's important. And, you know, a lot of guys will say, like, don't shoot does or it's just a doe, whatever. But I promise you, just the time we had together in the woods, I, I'll never forget this one. It's the first year that I got to harvest on my own property. Um, on the ground with a bow and you know it's just these, these special times it's beautiful day beautiful morning leaves are falling what, what else can you ask for as a bow hunter especially in pennsylvania i mean just just a beautiful place to hunt beautiful place to live and uh surround yourself with beautiful people you have a good time uh, we'll catch you next time thanks for following us and uh good luck <laughs>